So, here we are. You'll be able to find La Bafana somewhere around here. What is this place? It's the Yule Forest. One of the oldest wildwoods related to Christmas. In ancient times, spirits gathered here in a secret council to protect their festivals from the evil ones. But over time, this tradition was lost. Nowadays, people come together to this forest to celebrate, organizing fun fairs. They usually last for 12 nights. I believe there's a fair for La Bafana near here. So, it won't be that hard to track her down. To be honest, it gives me the creeps. And that story of yours didn't help, actually. There's no time for hesitation, Cisco. If the evil is the one I think it is, then it won't be that easy to release Santa. The night won't last for long. You must act. How is it going, Cisco? What is this place? I told you. It's the Yule Forest, one of the oldest wildwoods related to Christmas. Do you know who has kidnapped Santa? I can only speculate. We better find and ask La Bafana. I must say that I fear for my intuition coming true. I can't find La Bafana. See if you can find someone to ask for information. You're right. Thanks! To be honest, I'm stuck. That's normal. It happens sometimes. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what my next move should be. I fear that I may eventually fail in this mission. Don't be discouraged, my boy. Here is a piece of helpful advice. Try to inspect everything and talk to everyone about everything. Really? Are you sure that will do? Yes. This is how it has always been. Thanks! I'll do that! So far, so good! Catch you later! Alright! If you need me, I'll be right there in your pocket! Come on, it folks. reads, Try your info. Luck. I believe if I need any information, that's where I should go. There's a shady figure behind it resting on a chair. The Hunt, latest issue, all the tricks about hunting. Just in case I have to hunt anything. A counter bell, used to call attention. Hello? Is anyone in there? Hey kid, how may I help you? Who are you? I'm the guy providing information about the fun fair. That's great! Did I wake you up? I'm not allowed to say yes. Do you know where I can find La Bifana? I see. Another adventure. Just follow the signs. What is this place? Well, it's a seasonal festival that happens every year in honor of La Bifana. People from all over the world come to attend the festivities. I've never heard of it before. Sounds interesting. Sure. I have to go. Bye! The fire is out. I believe the ceremony is over. Although they seem to keep the embers lit, probably to celebrate more later. It reads, great prizes. Now that's interesting. I should definitely give it a try. I don't know why, but I love her hair. Excuse me? Welcome, kid. What is this place? Haven't you been to a fun fair before, kid? <laughs> Not to one like this! This place looks like it's from a movie! Enjoy it as much as you can. What is the great prize? 
an extraordinary souvenir from the birthplace of La Befana. Sounds like a must-have! How do I win the great prize? You'll have to play a game and win. Are you up for this challenge? I was born ready! Easy, kid. Don't get overexcited. Let's find out. Do you have any tokens? Unfortunately, I do not. I'm sorry to hear that. But without tokens, you can't play. That's a shame. Any idea of how I can acquire some? Try asking at the information booth. Do you know where I can find La Befana? I know she has a tent somewhere around the fair, but you'd better ask at the information booth. I really like your hair! You are so kind. I appreciate it. Your hair is remarkable, too. I know, right? Puffy hair is astonishing! I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Come it on, reads, folks. come Try and meet La Bifana. It points in the It'll upper right direction. Fly. That's great! Come on, Hello? Folks. Is Try anyone in there? Get a chance to win hey, a great kid. Prize. How may I help you? May I have some tokens, sir? I'm sorry, kid. They're all gone for today. Come back tomorrow. But I really need them tonight! As I said, there's nothing I can do. Oh, come on! I bet there's at least one left somewhere in there. And I bet that you should have been home in your bed by now. It's really important! I'm on a quest to save Christmas! Is that so? In that case, please, do tell me more. Yes! Santa has been kidnapped, and the Christmas spirit is helping me to find him and release him! Let me guess, or else you won't get any presents in the morning. Right! But not just me, every kid in the world! You made my night, kid. I love people with snappy imagination. And for that, I'll give you a hint for getting those tokens. You see, today there were a lot of people attending the fun fair, and almost every single one of them used that fortune teller machine over there. I don't see how that's helpful. You'll thank me later. Could you at least ask the lady with the prizes to let me play? I don't like to interfere with other people's affairs. Fine. I have to go. Bye! Come on, folks. Try it your reads, luck. Madam Astrea. I believe prize. that's the name of the fortune teller. It's a fortune teller machine. The witch automaton gives out a card with a prediction of the reader's future after receiving a token. So cool! Maybe I should use it to see if I'll be able to accomplish my adventure or not. You don't talk to automatons. You just let them do what they're designed to do. Nothing happens. Makes sense. It works with tokens. It holds the tokens used to operate the machine. I can't. It's locked. Hmm. There are two screws on the left side that keep it attached to the fortune teller machine. Come on, It folks. reads magic luck. potions and Get elixirs. I feel so luck. whimsical. He's a weird looking fellow. Hello! Greetings, I'm Lazarus. What are you selling? Isn't it obvious? Magic potions and elixirs. Impressive! What do they do? Well, most of them are for magical purposes, while others are medicinal. And just a few of them are poisonous, but let this remain between us. Sounds like some of them might be useful for my adventure. How old are you, kid? Twelve. Sorry, young one. I'm not allowed to sell you any unless you're over 18 or you have the consent of an adult. 
Do any of them make you disappear? The ability of disappearance always seemed extraordinary to me. Funny that you mention it, kid. A potion like that is missing from my inventory. Really? Why is that? Because to make such a potion, I need a unique flower with magical abilities. And that flower only thrives beyond the enchanted forest, somewhere near the cabin of the so-called old man. Which is difficult for me to acquire for two reasons. Firstly, because I can't leave my post. And secondly, for the reason that I can't find my way through the forest. That's frustrating. It is. Unless you are up for an errand. I have to say it sounds tempting, but I'm in a hurry. You see, I have my own mission. Got it. I have more questions. Do you know where I can find La Bifana? Oh, the all-knowing one. She definitely has a tent somewhere around here. After all, the fun fair is in her honor. Your mustache is so weird. It's a personality trait. It took me quite a time to grow it to this length. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. Wait for puberty, kid. Then the possible styles will be endless. Sorry, I should get going. Look at all these potions. Oh boy, the things you can achieve. I can't. I need permission from that man inside the wagon. Hey, kid, you are not allowed to take any. Really? Why is that? You have to be over 18. Most of this stuff is really dangerous. Darn it! That doesn't look like a potion bottle. Hey, kid, you're not allowed to take any. Really? Why is that? You have to be over 18. Most of this stuff is dangerous. But it's only an empty spray bottle. Oh, fine then. Go ahead and take it. I don't want anything here except my merchandise. A bottle that can spray liquids. All I have to do is fill it up and squeeze the trigger. It has a unique theme, with reindeer and witches instead of horses. Could it be a wishing well? Full with colorful candies? After a long and exhausting day, enjoying a candy could be so uplifting. Colors and fragrances can sugarcoat all concerns. He seems so worried. There's an expression of sadness on his face. Are you selling candies? Of course. All sorts of candies. Bonbons, candy bars, candy canes, rock candies, marshmallows, lollipops, chocolates, and many more. Please stop. I'm drooling already. You seem a bit gloomy. Is everything okay? Not really. I have a problem with my candy making machine. For some reason, I cannot create La Befana special treat for naughty kids. Oh, that's so disappointing. Isn't there a technician you can call? At this time of day, you can hardly find someone. I might be able to help you. Oh my gosh, really? No, I'm just messing with you. Have you heard of La Bifana? Needless to say that I have. People are coming to celebrate in her honor round the clock. Isn't that why you're here? In fact, yes. There's a serious matter that I have to address. But unfortunately, I can't say more. I see. Got it. I have to go. Bye. That's where the mainframe of the candy machine is. I can't, unless I get permission from that man standing next to the candy machine. That's where the real magic happens, a candy making machine. That would be awesome, but I don't know how to operate it. 
This must be Labafana's tent! The first goal achieved! Now to the next one! How to get inside and meet her! Oh! I see a few people in line! That's not good! There's no time to wait my turn! I may have to bypass them! I don't see any opening! Maybe it's used as a repository! She is waiting patiently in line! Hello! Hi! What's the reason you are waiting to meet La Bifana? I'm sorry, but that's personal. Are you the last person in line? Is that a trick question? I love puzzles. I gotta run! Bye! He must have been waiting quite a long time, judging from the fact that he is constantly looking at his watch. Hey, mister! Hey, kid! Why are you looking at your watch so much? It's been over an hour, and the last guy who entered is still in there! Oh boy, I'm doomed! I need to enter the tent right away! It's a matter of life and death! Don't worry, kid. That's for La Bifana to decide. I have to go. Bye! He seems a bit nervous. Hi! Hi! How do you feel being in the middle of the line? Did you notice that too? It's so frustrating. It's like having middle child syndrome all over again. Like that turkey in a sandwich. Are you waiting too long? It seems like forever. Drat! It's urgent that I see La Bifana. Please help me be the next to get in. Look, kid. Normally I should be at my post at the carousel. But I don't see anyone complaining. So just breathe easy and wait your turn like the rest of us. I gotta run. Bye! Excuse me? Yes? Can you push the guy in front of you so that I can take his place? You're joking, right? Yes! Is there any other way to get inside the tent? Sure. We are all waiting in line just for fun. I should get going. Bye! He is so lucky! He is the next in line! My dear sir! Huh? The guard over there just told me that kids go first. Fun fair policy. Nice try, but this is not the kids section. Maybe try the Ferris wheel. Do you have any kids, sir? No. That's a shame, and I had such a strong argument. Forget it, I have to go. That's so weird, he's floating on his tailcoat. Wait, there's also a light coming out of his eyes. Oh boy, he is a supernatural being. Hello. Welcome, little one. Who are you? I'm Nabu, La Bafana's personal guard. You don't look like a human. That's because I'm not. What are you then? I'm a guardian spirit. My duty is to protect and defend. Are there any others like you? Of course. Guardian spirits are a clan. We come in many different sizes or figures. And we are creatures of the light. Shallow Land is our country of origin, the place where we go when our services are not needed anymore. So, why are you protecting La Bifana? Because she hired me to do so. I don't understand. Let me explain it to you. We guardian spirits are hired beings. Once you show us the money, our services are available. So, La Bifana paid me to keep an eye on her wagon. For 12 nights, I am responsible for keeping everything in order. Cool! Why are those people waiting in line? To meet the almighty La Bafana, of course. I believe they are the last ones for the day. Earlier, the line extended to the carousel. What's wrong with your eyes? That's their normal state. But they're glowing! Indeed. For the reason that I'm made up of energy, emitting my own light source. Neat! 
so you are made of photons. If you say so. I'm here to see La Bifana. You'll have to wait in line, just like everyone else. There are a lot of people waiting in line. I don't have much time. I have to see her immediately. You are too young to be impatient. Relax. You can always come back tomorrow. You don't understand. If dawn comes, it will be too late. There won't be any Christmas to celebrate. La Bifana is the only one who can help me save the holidays. Look, kid, you sound worried. I get that. But I can't just let you in. Which means... To be a guardian means to protect and defend as equal, no matter what. Isn't it funfair policy for kids to have instant access to the activities? It's not within my jurisdiction, kid. Besides, I wouldn't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just doing my job. But you haven't said no, right? What are you implying? Maybe there's another way to come to an agreement. Maybe. You are a witty little boy. I like that. If you answer correctly all three questions regarding La Bifana, then I might be able to let you sneak in through the back door. Agreed! The first question is, what is the birthplace of La Bifana? Hogsmeade! Nope, not even close. Let's move to the next question. What is La Bifana's treat for naughty kids? Holy cannoli! Are you guessing, little one? And finally, which flower is associated with La Bifana? Beats me! Well, let's see. You haven't answered all three questions correctly. I was nervous! Please ask me again! I'm afraid I can't do that. If you want to see La Bifana, you'll have to wait in line over there. Drat! There's no time to waste! I beg you, please! Oh, fine. Stop whining. Come back once you know more and I'll ask you again. Now shove off. Wow! La Bifana's tent really stands out. I can't wait to meet her. Wow! La Bifana's tent really stands out. I can't wait to meet her. Where do you think you're going, kid? I was told the restroom is back there. You've been told wrong. If you need to, use those bushes back there in the tents. Now get back. Where do you think you're going, kid? The developers made me do it. What? They have hidden an exit here as a shortcut for the chapter. Is that so? There's nothing written in my source code, kid. So back off. Where do you think you're going, kid? It's a secret. If I tell you, you'll be in grave danger. Please, do tell me. Sounds way more interesting than just floating here on this chair. Oh, that bad, huh? Nah, forget it. Where do you think you're going, kid? Alas, there's a cute cat stuck in that tree over there. For real? Let someone know at the information booth. No, I must go and save her. She has no access to food or water and will get dehydrated and weak from starvation. Do you know when someone's lying, kid? Uh, no? When he's providing too much information. Dang! My dear sir! Huh? I have some questions about La Bifana. No time for that, kid. I'm the next in line. I may enter any minute now. Forget it. I have to go. Excuse me. Yes. 
I have some questions about La Bifana. So? So can you answer me a few? I could say I'd love to, but I don't. I should get going. Bye! Hi! Hi! I have some questions about La Bifana. Not now, kid. I'm in the middle of something. Okay. Am I the only one seeing the irony here? I gotta run. Bye! Hey, mister! Hey, kid! I have some questions about La Bifana. Okay. Do you know what her birthplace is? She has a birthplace? I thought she was a spirit. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? Uh, punishment? There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? I'm sorry. Botany is not my thing. You know what? I changed my mind. I have to go. Bye! Hello! Hi! I have some questions about La Bifana. What do you want to know? Do you know what her birthplace is? I've heard it once, but I don't seem to recall it. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? Not a clue. I guess I've always been good. There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? Really? I didn't know that. Let me ask you something else. I gotta run. Bye! I have some questions about La Bifana. I'll help you as much as I can, my child. Do you know what her birthplace is? Unfortunately, I don't. I never wondered about it. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? Without a doubt. I offer this treat here in the fun fair as a special candy. Fantastic. So what is it? It's called dark charcoal. Dark charcoal. Thank you! There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? I'm sorry. I'd never heard of that. But I do know everything about candies. Err, uh, I need to know something else. Why isn't the carousel working? The person in charge left shortly before sunset. Is he going to be late? I would love to give it a try. I wouldn't know, but if I had to guess, I would say that he went for a nap. I have to go. Bye! Hello! Greetings, I'm Lazarus. I have some questions about La Bifana. Of course you do. Do you know what her birthplace is? The opinions differ on this issue, so I can't help you with an answer. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? I'm afraid I've got no clue on that, young one. There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? I definitely do. Fantastic! Then which is it? Not so fast, young grasshopper. Nothing in this life comes for free. I'll share that information with you as long as you are willing to do an errand for me. Oh boy, what a typical adventure game character. Sure, what do I have to do? There is a unique flower with magical abilities that thrives only beyond the enchanted forest, somewhere near the cabin of this so-called old man. It is difficult for me to acquire since I can't leave my post and, for some reason, I can't find my way through the forest. Bring it to me, and I will share that valuable information with you. Deal! Let me ask you something else. Sorry, I should get going. Excuse me? Welcome, kid. I have some questions about La Bifana. Sure, what do you want to know? Do you know what her birthplace is? Of course. After all, our great prize is a souvenir from her birthplace. 
Fantastic! So what is the place? Well, many people say that her early years are lost in time, so her origin is considered by some mysterious and foggy. But most people know that her true home is called Urbania. Urbania! Thanks! Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? I wouldn't know. Pointy hats, maybe? There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? I'm sorry, but no. I have a few other questions. I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Come on, folks. Hello? Is anyone in there? To win the great hey, kid. How may I help you? I have some questions about La Bifana. You don't say. What do you want to know? Do you know what her birthplace is? Why? Do you have schoolwork on that subject? Sure! Let's say I do. Sorry to let you down, but I don't have the slightest clue. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? Oh, I've heard that one before. Let me think. Hmm... No, nope, nothing comes to mind. There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? Sorry, kid. No. Try asking me something less gossipy. Thanks for nothing. Watch your tone, kid. Anyway, I changed my mind. The fortune teller machine isn't working. That's because you need tokens to make it work. Right. I would like to ask something about La Bifana's tent. Sure, go ahead. There are a lot of people in line, and a weird being is floating as a guardian. And the question is... Is there any other way to get inside the tent? Maybe bypassing the guard? I'm not a walkthrough, kid. I have to go. Bye! She is so absorbed in that book. She reminds me of myself when I read books about space. Hi! Hello. What a nice costume you're wearing. This is not a costume. It's the apprentice's cloak uniform. Sorry about that. Are you a student? Indeed. I'm studying at the Wicca Academy, one of the best schools for witchcraft. Fantastic! What are you reading? A book on how to manifest your psychic abilities. It sounds tricky. It is. I have already mastered psychokinesis. One more to master, and I'll be able to win the witch contest. I have some questions about the witch contest. Are you a contestant? No, I'm just curious. Then sure, go ahead, ask. Who can participate in the contest? Almost anyone, as long as you can perform witchcraft. But what about being a witch? It surely helps, but it's not a necessity. The core of the Wicca belief is that magic is all around us and anyone can harness it. Of course, training helps you achieve it faster and with more control. Are there any rules? Only one. Use magic and only magic. What is the prize of the contest? Ah, the prize. I shudder at the thought of winning it. It is a figurine of the omniscient La Bifana. A figurine? Yes, a figurine, a figure, a statuette. It doesn't matter what you call it. What matters is to win it. To be honest, it sounds more like a toy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a toy. Oops, sorry? It's the ultimate prize figure. Every single witch dreams of winning it. This prize can get you anywhere. It can open all doors for you. To hold, to win this prize is so important. It can get you into any academy. 
No door can remain closed if you are in the possession of the prized figure. Oh, come on! Now I want to take part! What? Apologies, but I do not talk to other competitors. Sorry, I just said it on the spur of the moment. All right then, fine. I will definitely take part! What does it take to win the witch contest? You need to have mastered two psychic abilities. Keep in mind, though, that every witch can genuinely master only one ability. It's very rare and hard to master a second one. Yikes! Which are the psychic abilities? Well, the most important ones are the following. Psychokinesis, the ability to manipulate objects with your mind. Mental projection, the ability to project spirit, consciousness, and emotions into reality. For instance, you can project your consciousness into a lifeless thing and give it a voice. Telepathy, the ability to transmit or receive thoughts supernaturally, which means that you must be able to read other people's minds. Precognition, the ability to perceive future events, the toughest one, to be able to predict the future. Wow, these would be unimaginable powers indeed! Thanks for the insight! I have some questions about La Bifana. Happy to help. Do you know what her birthplace is? Sure. Everyone knows that she originates from Urbania. Although many argue simply because they want to add a more mystic approach to her roots. Any idea what her treat for naughty kids is? If you've been good, she fills your socks with all the colorful candies. But if you've been bad, you'll get just one candy. The dark charcoal. And that's bad? It depends. Dark charcoal represents a lump of coal, meaning that your fire has burned out. But it's also a symbol of hope that you can change and be reborn from your cinders. There's a flower associated with La Bifana. Do you know which it is? What? Really? Apparently there is. I don't have such knowledge. I thought I knew everything about La Bifana. Skatam of Ga. I guess I should study more. You know what? I changed my mind. Do you know La Bifana? Do I? She's a legend. Where can I find her? She's one of the oldest Wiccans. She's said to have mastered all the witchcraft abilities. Yet her reputation was built only on one, omniscience. The main reason people visit her every year. That's why almost everyone refers to her as the all-knowing one. Sure, but where can I find her? You can't. Either you invoke her, or she finds you. I'll let you get back to your reading. It reads, Witch Contest! That should be fun! People throw all kinds of food waste in here. Hey! There's a half-eaten lettuce salad in there. For no apparent reason, I will take it. He reminds me of someone. Someone from an old series that Dad used to watch. What are you selling? Ooh, different types of food like hot dogs, vegetable sticks with dip, mini pizzas, and many more. But our main product is our burger. The best burger out there. It sounds tempting. May I have one? Sure. Hand me a token and you will get your burger. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, I don't know, kid. Do you? I can't really be sure. An orange car, troubles with the law, and two brothers come to mind. It sounds like you watch too much TV. I would like to ask you about La Bifana. I've never heard of her, kid. But the fun fair is in her honor. Yeah, you don't say. Look, kid, wherever there's a festival, I go. I load the canteen onto my truck. And I hit the road. I never ask questions. 
I only care about bringing home the bacon, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Not exactly, but fair enough. Your canteen looks so yucky. I bet it's your first time seeing one, am I right? Actually, yes. This is what all fast food kitchens look like if you go to the back. At least I'm not hiding behind a storefront. Sorry, I should get going. Greetings, young one. I can't help but comment on how young you are. It's so promising for our order to see contestants at such a young age. Please state your name and the type of psychic abilities that you will compete in. My name is Cisco, and I would like to compete in all four abilities. Finally, someone with confidence. I like that. Or someone arrogant. You already got our attention, Cisco. Feel free to start whenever you are ready. I will perform psychokinesis. Maybe when the moment is right. Salads are supposed to be healthy. This one doesn't seem to be. Its color is a bit faded. Oh wait, something is moving among the lettuce leaves. What have we here? A little red worm? Cute! Maybe that's why someone threw it away. I'll keep the worm and get rid of the salad. Behold! That's really impressive, Cisco. You indeed possess the ability to control objects with your mind. Let's move on to the next one. I will perform mental projection. I need you to be a shell to project my inner voice. That doesn't make any sense. We don't have time for fooling around, Cisco. Please, you'll have to trust me. Fine, what do I have to do? Just follow my lead. Okay, I'm waiting for your guidance. Great, just repeat after me. My dear witches, behold. My dear witches, Behold! You are witnessing my second psychic ability! You are witnessing my second psychic ability! I'm more than a cute floating teddy bear! I'm more than a cute floating teddy bear! I'm the manifestation of the inner voice of this boy with the unique puffy orange hair! I'm the manifestation of the inner voice of this boy with the unique puffy orange hair! As you know, it's not safe to stay in this mental state too long without a warm-up. As you know, it's not safe to stay in this mental state too long without a warm-up. So I will waste no more time and jump back in his pocket. So, I will waste no more time and jump back in his pocket. Thank you for being a lovely audience. Thank you for being a lovely audience. I'm speechless. I'm hooked. Ouch! Standing presentation, projecting your inner voice and spirit on that plaything. Thank you! And now, I'll try to read your mind to find your deepest desires. You have mastered your sixth sense. I find it hard to believe. Let me demonstrate telepathy! Your deepest desire is... To visit Legoland! Disappointing. I don't even know this land. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... To have your own talk show. I'm sorry to let you down, but I'm an introvert. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... Posthumous fame! Not even close, my young boy. 
Nice try, though. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Judging by her general demeanor, I think she's the friendly one. She looks so strict that she makes me nervous. Your deepest desire is... to be as famous as La Bifana. I knew you weren't capable. No witch can overcome her spirit. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... to wear mismatched socks without anyone judging you. No. At least you are funny. I'll give you that. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... to navigate a tanker ship. Unfortunately, no. I get seasick. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. It's like she's automated knitting. Nothing seems to distract her pace. Your deepest desire is... Collecting typewriters. Writing is not my thing. Sorry, kid. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... Knitting! Indeed, a desire, but not a secret one. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... A dreamy wedding! Disappointing! <gasps> Better luck next time! I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... To float in space. Sounds tempting, but no. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... To become a circus ringmaster. Nomad life is not for me. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Your deepest desire is... To swim in a pool of chocolate. I am lactose intolerant. I assume the telepathic connection isn't strong. Let me try once more. Despite her glasses, I can clearly see that her eyes are fixed on me. Where do you think you're going, kid? I need some time. I feel a bit nervous. I get stage fright quite easily. Understood. We'll be right here when you feel ready. We don't have all day, kid. She is so absorbed in that book. She reminds me of myself when I read books about space. Hi! Hello. I have some questions about the witch contest. Are you a contestant? No, I'm just curious. Then sure, go ahead, ask. What can you tell me about the witch judges? All four are top-notch as Wiccans, which makes them too strict on their judgment. I mean, do you know anything spicier? Well, I don't want to gossip about them, but I might know a few private details. The green one is a seed collector. She owns almost every seed that nature has produced. The gray one works secretly as a yoga instructor. The orange one is said to have so much free time that she argues with people online. And finally, the purple one cosplays as every character from Harry Potter. Oh my, you really are a fan! Thanks for the insight! I'll let you get back to your reading.
glad to see you are back, young one. I hope you feel ready this time. It's so promising for our order to see contestants at such a young age. Please state your name and the type of psychic abilities that you will compete in. My name is Cisco, and I would like to compete in all four abilities. Finally, someone with confidence. I like that. Or oh, someone arrogant. You already got our attention, Cisco. Feel free to start whenever you are ready. I will perform psychokinesis. Behold! That's really impressive, Cisco. You indeed possess the ability to control objects with your mind. Let's move on to the next one. I will perform mental projection. I need you to be a shell to project my inner voice. That doesn't make any sense. We don't have time for fooling around, Cisco. Please, you have to trust me. Fine, what do I have to do? Just follow my lead. Okay, I'm waiting for your guidance. Great, just repeat after me. My dear witches, behold. My dear witches, behold. You are witnessing my second psychic ability. You are witnessing my second psychic ability. I'm more than a cute floating teddy bear. I'm more than a cute floating teddy bear. I'm the manifestation of the inner voice of this boy with the unique puffy orange hair. I'm the manifestation of the inner voice of this boy with the unique puffy orange hair. As you know, it's not safe to stay in this mental state too long without a warm up. As you know, it's not safe to stay in this mental state too long without a warm-up. So I will waste no more time and jump back in his pocket. So I will waste no more time and jump back in his pocket. Thank you for being a lovely audience. Thank you for being a lovely audience. I'm speechless. I'm hooked. Outstanding presentation. Projecting your inner voice and spirit on that plaything. Thank you! And now, I'll try to read your mind to find your deepest desires. You have mastered your sixth sense. I find it hard to believe. Let me demonstrate... Telepathy! Your deepest desire is... To be a collector! In fact, not an ordinary one, but rather the best who has collected all the seeds of nature! Unbelievable! Your deepest desire is... To teach fitness and wellness by secretly working as a yoga instructor! Outstanding! I knew it! That's why you are so flexible. Your deepest desire is... Arguing with people online! The anonymity behind an alias keeps you excited! What, what the heck? heck? Can't a woman have a hobby? Your deepest desire is... Cosplaying! I see you getting dressed up as every character from Harry Potter! Yeah, shocking. shocking! Thrilling! I feel mentally stripped. You have exceeded our expectations, young boy. It was kind of weird having you poke inside my mind. Indeed. I had my doubts. But you might be the winner after all. Thank you! And now, last but not least, the hardest one! Precognition! <gasps> I predict that... I'm sorry, but some dark clouds are blocking my vision! <clears throat> the winner of the contest will be me! Super califragilistic expialidocious. You are a wonder, Cisco. We never thought that someone of your age would be able to master all four psychic abilities. The order expects a lot from you, Cisco. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you. We found the winner. No reason to see other contestants. Exactly as you predicted. The prize of the witch contest is yours. You've earned it. 
Accept this figurine as a recognition of your exceptional merit. That's super nice. I'll keep practicing and studying. Thank you so much. May the nature be with you. That was pretty intense. I didn't think I would actually win this contest. At least I got this prize figure to prove it. The prize figure represents the all-knowing La Bifana. How cool is that? Even cooler is that the edge of the broom looks like a flathead screwdriver. What? No! Showing off is never a good thing. Are you trying to get me on the naughty list? Besides, I want it fair and square. Yes, this old trick always works. A bunch of tokens. They look a lot like coins, but they are not. I can use them to take part in any funfair activity. If I want to know my future, I'd better close the panel. It's necessary for the machine to operate. Oh boy, there's a shiver running down my spine. Knowing my future may be both a blessing and a curse. Come on, folks, try your luck. Get a chance to win the great prize. It reads, you are already thinking of a sequel. Try to focus on your current goal. Here you are, sir, a token. May I have my burger now? Certainly, kid. There you go, enjoy. This is the burger I got from the canteen man. It's rich in cholesterol and saturated fat. Many refer to it as the king of junk food. No way I'm sharing my burger. No way I'm sharing my burger. Excuse me. Yes? Who are you? I'm Franco. Lovely. I'm Cisco. How do you do? I've been better. I feel you, but the best is yet to come. Thank you for being optimistic. Why are you crying? It's a long story. I don't want to burden you with my problems. Don't worry. Feel free to share anything. I believe it would be good for me to share my sorrow. No reason to feel troubled. Let it all out. You're so kind. The thing is that I have failed. Not exactly yet, but I will. The reason is that I can't achieve my tasks by my deadline. There's not enough time, and the old man will be so disappointed with me. I can help you if you like. Really? That's so thoughtful of you. Well, you see, I do errands for the old man who lives in a cabin hidden deep in the enchanted forest. I'm supposed to prepare his scheduled fish oil, a drinking liquid he takes once a week. I also have to whittle him a new ornate tobacco pipe. To carve into wood requires a lot of time due to the details, so I'm afraid I won't be able to have them both ready until the sun comes up. Who is the old man? 
He is my mentor. Did you just say enchanted forest? Yes, it's the Yule Forest. I grew up among its paths and trees. There's nothing to be afraid of. It just uses magic to protect itself to remain pure from the trespassers. Cool! So what's the plan? What do you want me to do? Do you know how to whittle? No! Great! I'll take care of making the tobacco pipe while you handle the fish oil. There's no more time to lose. Tasks have been assigned. When you're ready, come and meet me at the cabin in the woods. We must get going if we want to succeed in time. Wait! Aren't you forgetting something? Right. Good luck. <laughs> no! I mean, how am I supposed to find the cabin or the fish oil? Oh, that. I forgot you're not from around here. The forest can be a bit tricky. Without guidance, you'll never find the path to the cabin. Let me give you a piece of advice as a native. If you ever find yourself lost in the woods, just talk to the mushrooms. They'll know what to do. Talk to mushrooms? Is that some kind of a riddle? Where did he go? He didn't even tell me about the fish oil. I'd better find him and sort this out. Looks like someone has left it there. A sturdy piece of wood. cool is that? Some glow-in-the-dark fungi. Mom once told me that they have the same compound found in fireflies and underwater creatures called luciferin. But I can't recall if they're poisonous or not. Hey! I'm back at the forest entrance. It seems I chose the wrong exit. I'm back at the forest entrance. It seems I chose the wrong exit. How cool is that? Some glow-in-the-dark fungi. Mom once told me that they have the same compound found in fireflies and underwater creatures called luciferin. But I can't recall if they're poisonous or not. Okay, this seems like a crazy idea, but Franco was so specific about it. Hello? Hello, Wanderer. Hey! You talk! What did you expect? I did use the action, talk to mushrooms, but I didn't expect it to literally work. Yet here we are. What can we do for you? It seems that I'm lost, but I was told that you could help me. I need to find the path that leads to the old man's cabin. I see. Another lost soul. We certainly do know the right path for your destination, and we could guide you through the forest. But to do so, you should beat our little game. Right! What's that cyan glow around you? How are you able to illumine? Because of the vegetation, sunlight doesn't reach this far deep in the forest. So nature provided us with a special compound to act as a beacon for the rest of the animals when night falls. This remarkable compound is called luciferin, and it's responsible for this unique glow effect. Cool! Sure, but I've never seen mushrooms like you before. It would be strange if you had. Why is that? 
because our species grow and develop only in this enchanted and unique forest. We are a small order among the vast fungus kingdom. We are called the Bolitaceae. The Bolti... Bolitaceae? The what? It's a tongue twister, I know. So we are in general known as the Old Man of the Woods. Really? Sounds about right. Very well. What do I have to do? You see my other two friends over there? Yes? Let me introduce you then to Mr. That and Mr. Such. They are the ones who will tell you which way your destination is. But there is one tiny detail. One of them is always telling the truth, while the other one is always lying. The problem is that you don't know who is who. It's up to you to find out and choose the right path. Do you think you can handle it? Can you beat our little game? I got this far, didn't I? Fair point. Now let's see if you can get any further. Are you Mr. That? Sure, don't I look like Mr. That? What about you? You bet I am. Are you Mr. Such? Nope, definitely not. What about you? No way, that's a silly name. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? I'm not lying, trust me. What about you? I'm telling you the truth. Which path leads to the old man's cabin? You must take the southwest path. You must take the east path. Which path would the other mushroom tell me to follow to reach the old man's cabin? He would definitely tell you to head southwest. He would definitely tell you to head southwest. Okay, truth to be told. Do you think I should use a walkthrough? No, you got this. Take your time and think. What do you think? Oh, of course not. It's a fun puzzle. Give it a try. I'd better go now. Okay, let's beat this silly game. Hey, mushrooms! Which path would the other mushroom tell me to follow to reach the old man's cabin? He would definitely tell you to head west. He would definitely tell you to head west. I'd better go now. Okay, let's beat this silly game. Hey, mushrooms! Which path would the other mushroom tell me to follow to reach the old man's cabin? He would definitely tell you to head east. He would definitely tell you to head east. I'd better go now. Okay, let's beat this silly game. Hey, mushrooms! Which path would the other mushroom tell me to follow to reach the old man's cabin? He would definitely tell you to head west. He would definitely tell you to head west. I'd better go now. It's so beautiful that it's almost mesmerizing. The man of the funfair was right. It's truly unique. Hey, 
Hey! What? It just jumped to a new position! Oh, come on! Really? Drat! It's like this flower can sense me somehow! Drat! It's like this flower can sense me somehow! Drat! It's like this flower can sense me somehow! The Hunt, latest issue. There is an interesting article with the following title. How not to be detected by your prey. Boil some water, add pine needles, and a few drops of cooking oil. Stir well. Afterwards, pour it into a container and spray yourself. That's an interesting tip. Locked. That's an old hand-driven fish oil extractor. You just put the fish inside the funnel, and manually, you extract and collect the oil. No, no, no! I can only put fish in the funnel. Anything else could break it, and I wouldn't want that. I believe these are mud boots. They are the perfect interseasonal solution. They're tough, waterproof, and delightfully rubbery. These are really nice boots. They might come in handy. Can I have them? Sorry, but no. They're my only pair. I might need them to go to the swamp later to collect some moss. An ordinary wooden bucket. Can I have this bucket for a while? No problem. You can take it. I intend to make a better one anyway. Great! Thanks! A nylon cord used for fishing. Franco, may I borrow this fishing line, please? Oh, yes. Certainly. You're going to need it. Just bring it back when you're done. Sure! Thanks! A wooden ladle. A metallic hook hanging over the fire. I believe you can hang something on it. A medium-sized metallic pot. It's used to brew stuff together. Phew! I thought you would never figure it out. I couldn't hold it in any longer! That's Franco. He seems less worried now. Maybe whittling is good for him. It just burns empty. Hey! Hi! What can you tell me about the flower in the bushes outside the old man's cabin? Ah, that's the leaping thimbleweed. Isn't it beautiful? It is, it is! Anything more specific? All I know is that the old man found it and collected it many years ago on one of his travels. He may not get out of his cabin, but he's well-traveled. Good for him! Back to the flower. Is there any way to cut it? Uh, why would you want to do that? I'm just curious. Let's say someone who is on a very important mission needs it to succeed. Then he must know the Leaping Thimbleweed's secret. Which is... Well, let's say that the flower has the ability to smell its hunter. Every time someone tries to cut it, it jumps to a new position. Hence the name Leaping. But if that someone manages to hide his smell somehow, then he'll be able to cut it like any other flower. Why is the old man's cabin door locked? Truth be told, it's not. But I tried to open it and I couldn't. That's because you are not invited. I don't understand. 
An ancient spell has been cast on the door. Only the ones who are invited or expected by the old man are able to enter. So the door is both locked and open. Mind-blowing! You left in such a hurry! Sorry, but carving wood requires detailed work. I must take advantage of every minute if I want to get it done. What about the fish oil? What about it? I'm going to need some more information. I've never made it before, so I'm not familiar with the process. I understand. It's quite simple, actually. All you need is a fish. Firstly, try to catch a fish. Then you'll have to extract its fat tissue and collect it to a container. Simple, right? How will I catch a fish in the middle of the woods? No worries. There's a lake not far from here in which you may go angling. Just follow the path heading northeast past the river. You'll reach a clearing. After that, you can't miss it. Thanks! Do I need a special container? No, anything will do. Here, take the one that I usually use. Extract its fat tissue? That sounds hard and painful. Actually, there's an oil expeller machine to do the task for you. Phew! Sounds pretty easy. I'll get on it. Is this your cabin? As a matter of fact, it's a shack. Either way, it's my home. So, you were born and raised here, in the Wildwood. Definitely raised, but not born. How come? Many years ago, the old man found me in a baby basket somewhere near the lake. He took me under his protection and offered me a home. I've never met my birth parents, but I don't complain. The old man gave me a roof and education. We built the shack together two years ago, so that he and I can both have our privacy. Now, I am apprenticing to him to follow his legacy. Oh my, it's such a touching story. I have questions about the old man. What would you like to know? How old is he exactly? No one really knows. Most people believe that he is way past 100 years old. Like a modern Methuselah. What does he do? He's a watcher guardian between worlds. He observes the timeline of every world for any anomaly. If someone or something travels between worlds without permission, that may cause a form of anomaly. The old man is responsible for preventing such divergencies or tracking them down. He also guards the spiritual gates between these worlds, a post which grants him the ability to control who will pass through or not. So, in this way, balance is preserved. Fascinating! Sounds so, but it's not a dream post. The hours are long, the work is tedious, you rarely sleep, and you don't even get paid. Why does he need the fish oil? He once told me it's his secret to longevity. To consume it regularly, in small quantities, supports the heart and maintains healthy eye function. But I think he drinks it along with some other potions to enhance the abilities required by his post. Yet, I can't be sure until I come of age. It is only then that he will pass his secret fully to me. Can I meet him? Well, he's not our local attraction. If you're not expected or invited, you can't meet him. Does he have a name? He used to. Now he's just the old man. I have a few other questions. I have some questions about La Bifana. I'm sorry, but I'm not the right person to ask. Oh? Why is that? As long as I'm apprenticing under the tutelage of the old man, I'm not allowed to reveal anything regarding witchcraft or whatsoever related.
I have to go. Catch you later. That's a pine tree. And yes, it's full of pine needles. The problem is that they are too high to reach. I was able to push the pine tree, but nothing happened. Maybe one time isn't enough. I see some of the needles ready to fall. Maybe number three is the lucky one. Hey, it's snowing pine needles. They fell when I shook the pine tree. A sturdy piece of wood. An empty handmade wooden bucket. A fishing line made of long nylon thread. I have to be careful how I carry it in my pocket so that its hook doesn't pierce me. A regular wooden spoon, the best tool for stirring a liquid or other substance to be mixed. A bottle-type pocket container, ideal for collecting liquids in small doses. They smell quite nice. I had to shake that pine tree three times to get them. I hope they will be useful. Such beautiful aquatic plants. Although they may seem to be floating, this is not the case. Their secret lies under the water. If I'm going to wet my pockets, I need a good reason. Filled with water. It's a bit greenish, but clear enough to see the bottom. A wooden boat floating freely in the lake. It's not even tied to the peg. Okay, here seems like a good spot to stop. I don't need to go any further. The bottom is full of seaweed. I can see some fish swimming down there. I'm not diving in. I'd better find another way to catch a fish. They're covered with fog. Perfect for a hiking adventure. Maybe once my quest is over. Rowing the boat is a bit tougher than I thought. It glows brightly. I hope it doesn't go out, or else I'll be in trouble. It's so beautiful, and for some reason, it looks closer from out here. Sounds like a great idea. I'll see if I can attach it to the tip. Aha! Cisco's handcrafted fishing rod is ready for action. I'm pretty proud of it. Made it from scratch. There's still something missing if I want to go angling. However, I still have to be careful with that hook in my pocket. I'm sorry, little fella, but it's for a good cause. Now my fishing equipment looks complete. Time for angling. My handcrafted fishing rod with bait on it. Sorry, little fella, but it's for a good cause, to save Santa. A codfish, rich in omega-3 fatty acids.
That's an old hand-driven fish oil extractor. You just put the fish inside the funnel, and manually, you extract and collect the oil. That's an old hand-driven fish oil extractor. You just put the fish inside the funnel, and manually, you extract and collect the oil. It seems the oil extractor worked nicely. The flask is full of fish oil. All set, Franco! Here you go! The fish oil you wanted! That's amazing, Cisco! You actually did it! Please, accept this present as gratitude. This tiny elf is Puck, a mischievous spirit of the Wildwood. Be careful, though. Do not open it unless you have to. Puck is malicious. He likes to trick people before attacking them by pinching them. The Hunt, latest issue. There is an interesting article with the following title. How not to be detected by your prey. Boil some water, add pine needles, and a few drops of cooking oil. Stir well. Afterwards, pour it into a container and spray yourself. That's an interesting tip. Adding water is the first step to every recipe. It contains just water. The mixture is not complete yet. Some ingredients are missing. Adding a handful of pine needles. It contains some water and some pine needles. The mixture is not complete yet. One ingredient is missing. No way I'm sharing my burger. This is the burger I got from the canteen man. It's rich in cholesterol and saturated fat. Many refer to it as the king of junk food. Mmm, that was surprisingly yummy. Yuck, this box is full of fried oil. I bet if I squeeze it, I could drain it out. Adding some oil. I won't need this burger box anymore. I have all the ingredients together. Now I have to mix them by stirring the pot. I believe it's ready. I just need a container to collect it and test it. I must admit that I am a bit skeptical about whether this will really work. It's filled with the mixture that is supposed to neutralize your smell. Someone said, sharing is having more. But in my case, the opposite is true. I'm a bit anxious to see if this actually works. I'll try it and find out. I smell weird! The effect of the smell spray has worn off! Wow! 
one of the rare species with magical abilities. It can glow and disappear as soon as it senses the presence of a human being. Its nectar can be used for peculiar potions, according to the man at the fun fair. Here is the magical flower that you requested. Splendid! I'll start mixing the vanishing potion right away. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something? You're right. Sorry, kid. I got excited. The flower associated with La Bafana is the water lily. It makes sense somehow. Thank you! Welcome, little one. I'm ready for your questions again. I sure hope so. The first question is, what is the birthplace of La Bafana? Urbania! Correct. La Bafana originates from Urbania, a place where animals and even trees can talk. A place paved with purple brick roads and cheerful pixies. Let's move to the next question. What is La Bafana's treat for naughty kids? Dark charcoal! Well done! If you are naughty for most of the year, La Bafana will reward you with a dark candy in the shape of coal. The coal is the symbol of second chance, to self-review, to be nicer in the next year. And finally, which flower is associated with La Bafana? Water lily! Bravo! The water lily is her flower. Its scent is supposed to make you tranquil and happy, allowing La Bafana to visit us more efficiently. You are studious, little one. Good for you. All your answers were correct. Thank you. Now can I see La Bafana? Not so fast, boy. You're not done yet. What do you mean? Bring me tangible proof for every answer, and then I'll let you sneak in. What? That wasn't part of the deal. We never made a deal. As you said, we are just trying to come to an agreement. Oh, you sneaky... Uh, fine! Could it be a wishing well? Hmm, let's see. It's hard to make only one wish. I think I'm ready. Let's toss that token. I didn't say my wish out loud because I don't want to jinx it. Who knows? Maybe the outcome of this adventure will show if my wish came true. You seem a bit gloomy. Is everything okay? Not really. I have a problem with my candy making machine. For some reason, I cannot create La Befana's special treat for naughty kids. Oh, that's so disappointing. Isn't there a technician you can call? At this time of day, you can hardly find someone. I might be able to help you. Oh my gosh, really? Yes, I'm quite a handyman. Once I took our TV apart just to see what's inside. Dad got furious, but I managed to put it back together, and now everyone is happy. It seems like you are my only choice. I'll tell you what, if you manage to fix it, I'll give you La Befana special candy for free. Challenge accepted. Is there anything I should know about your candy making machine before I take a look at it? Well, the color of the crystal sugar that I want to create is black, but the machine doesn't produce it. So I guess that if you fix the black color, then everything will work fine. I'll take action ASAP. That's where the mainframe of the candy machine is. All right, let's see if I can fix the problem. It holds the cyan color. It's half full. It holds the yellow color. It's half full. 
It holds the orange color. It's currently empty. It holds the green color. It's half full. It holds the blue color. It's currently empty. It holds the magenta color. It has enough quantity. It holds the red color. It's currently empty. It holds the black color. It's currently empty. It holds the white color. It has enough quantity. It holds the pink color. It's currently empty. I think it's the manufacturer's logo. On closer inspection, I see that it illustrates an abstract relationship between the colors. A really small sliding door. A small sliding door. Nothing happens. Maybe because there is no flow. What? I was 100% sure it was going to be black. Instead, I got gray. A neutral color that is too dark to be called white and too light to be called black. It seems that this machine only produces black by mixing certain colors. I better figure out that color mixing combination if I want to make the black color. So I'll discard it and try again. I have made some blue color. Now I can fill the blue color container. Nah, that doesn't look like an existing color. I'd better discard it and try again. I have made some red color. Now I can fill the red color container. Not sure if I need it, but I have made some orange color. Now I can fill the orange color container. sure if I need it, but I have made some pink color. Now I can fill the pink color container. Nah, that doesn't look like an existing color. I'd better discard it and try again.
I managed to make some black color! Now I can fill the black color container! The candy man will be so happy! I fixed it! Black color should be fine right now! I contrived a way so that your machine may be able to produce it again! Really? Let's try it! You're a genius, my child! I can't thank you enough for saving my business! As I promised, here is your reward! The special candy! The dark charcoal! It's La Bifana's special candy, covered with delicious black sugar crystals. It's called Dark Charcoal. Come on, folks. Try your luck. Get a chance to win the great prize. Look at all these potions! Oh boy, the things you can achieve! Let's be honest, I can't start drinking potions randomly without knowing their side effects. The man in the wagon said that some are really dangerous. I wouldn't know which one to pick. I can't risk it. This craft is not a game. I don't know why, but I love her hair! Excuse me? Welcome, kid. How do I win the great prize? You'll have to play a game and win. Are you up for this challenge? I was born ready! Easy, kid. Don't get overexcited. Let's find out. Do you have any tokens? Believe it or not, I do! Lovely. Once you give them to me, you'll be able to try your luck. I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Come on, folks. Try your luck. Get a chance to win the great prize. I would like to try to win the great prize. Someone is feeling lucky tonight. Right, kid? Sure, go ahead. But I have to warn you, it might be harder than you expect. All right, the goal is simple. You must move all the purple broom pieces to the far left and all the lime broom pieces to the far right. There are some rules, though. I'll tell you what you can and can't do. The first rule is, you can only move forward one slot at a time or jump over one broom only. The second rule is, you cannot move backwards and you cannot jump over two or more brooms. Best of luck, kid. Bravo, you succeeded! Nice game! Here is the great prize. You deserve it, kid. That's it? It's just a magnet, not even a big one. It's not just a magnet. It's a souvenir from the birthplace of La Befana. Do you know what her birthplace is? Um... Uh... Oh, don't strain yourself. Holding that magnet, now you do. Right! A fridge magnet depicting some kind of village named Urbania. There is some writing on the back. 
Urbania is the birthplace of the legendary La Befana. Okay, I'll just pick this one. A water lily! It looks so radially symmetrical. A souvenir from the birthplace of La Befana. Fantastic. That will do. There you go. The dark charcoal. Oh, the dark candy of the wicked. Excellent. Here is the water lily, the flower that's associated with La Befana. Very good. Its fragrance is extremely important. Let's see. You managed to find all three items. I didn't expect you to succeed. I guess there's a lot more to you than meets the eye. You are free to sneak in through the back door. And remember, keep it to yourself. Don't let anyone else know about it. Hey, what are you doing here? This is a private session. Get out and get back in line. Unless I find a way to get rid of him, I can't have full access to the tent. A tiny elf in a jar. Looks a bit jumpy. Franco said it's Puck, a mischievous spirit who likes to trick people before attacking them by pinching them. Okay, let's see what this tiny elf can really do. That was funnier than I expected. My guess is that it's not used for cleaning. Maybe it's La Bifana's means of transport. You want me to steal a witch's broom? Yeah, right. I don't feel that lucky. If only I knew how, I could save a lot of time moving around. A wooden carved silhouette of a witch. There's a whole tree inside. Remarkable. A Wicca book of spells. Let's see if I can find any use for it. Good luck spell. The title is all I can read. The rest of the writing system is something between hieroglyphics and runes. Luckily, some symbols and sketches stand out. Heal spell. The title is all I can read. The rest of the writing system is something between hieroglyphics and runes. Luckily, some symbols and sketches stand out.
I see some desiccated snowflakes. Kind of weird if you ask me. A large cast iron pot filled with violet fumes. I believe that's where all the witchcraft is brewing. Let's see if it works. Hocus pocus. Hmm, nothing happened. Abracadabra. Still nothing. Mumbo jumbo. Weird, still nothing. Okay, last chance. Ridiculous. As expected, nothing. I guess I should stick with science. There's something strange about this mirror. I can't see my reflection. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary mirror, but it's not. I'd better take a closer look. Just as I thought, it's not an ordinary mirror. Its surface is divided into several pieces. Weird, some pieces have red markings on them. It looks like I can rearrange them. Hmm, let's see what happens if I do that. Something is happening! You have summoned me. What may I help you with, kid? Who are you? I believe you already know that, Cisco. Wow! You really are the one they say you are! Did you have any doubts? You'd better not finish that sentence, Cisco. <laughs> right. Are you really here? No, this is just a projection of me. My body may be absent, but my spirit is here. Do you mean something like a hologram? I've never heard of that before. 
It's the recorded projection of someone in a way that appears three-dimensional. Sounds like science has a lot in common with magic. Maybe that's what magic is all about. Just a part of science that we don't understand yet. Are you an actual witch? Yes and no. Is that a riddle? People used to call us witches back in the old days, when obscurantism prevailed. Our proper name is Wiccans. Regardless of gender, anyone can be a Wiccan. Have you ever heard of a male witch? Now that you mention it, no! Exactly. That's because in the past we lived in a more patriarchal society. Now in the modern day, Beliefs have a more democratic approach. Wicca may be practiced by anyone. Each and every one can study and get connected with the energy that surrounds our nature. I really need your help! Santa has been kidnapped! If the night ends and morning dawns, there is a chance that Christmas will be lost forever! I must find him and save him, but I don't even know who kidnapped Santa! Relax, Cisco. Breathe. I'm aware of these tragic events, and I've been waiting for you. To succeed in your adventure, you must have a clear mind and a calm spirit. Otherwise, anxiety will rule and evil will prevail. Sorry, I got carried away. Now, let me tell you what you need to do. Santa has been kidnapped by Krampus, his oldest enemy. He is being held captive somewhere in Krampus's castle. Who is this Krampus? He is an ancient spirit, as old as Santa, but way more powerful. It would be impossible to face him with bare hands. Luckily, I know a spell that has the ability to imprison him once and for all. However, the needed ingredients for this spell are rare and special. It's not an easy task to acquire them, but once you do, I'll be able to prepare it for you. Here, take this scroll to keep track of the components of the spell, plus this mojo bag. You will need it. It's part of the juju. In short, You'll have to fill the mojo bag with an Ipamea root and some elf tears. You will also need a mandrake root. After that, you must create a new variety of blackthorn fruit. To accomplish that, find a tag with Krampus's name on it and bury it in the soil of a Nifalufa flower. Sorry, a Nifa what? A Nifalufa. A unique flower that grows only in the land of elves. <laughs> That's a funny name. Maybe it is, but its magical properties are not. Yikes! Please carry on. Good. Then find some blackthorn seeds and roast them. Put everything together and freeze the mixture. Plant the mixture adjacent to the northern wall of a human house and then gather the crop. Finally, fetch me a red thread, along with Santa's personal ornament. Once you collect them all, come back and meet me again. I'll tell you about the unique prison we can use to detain Krampus. It sounds impossible. All this to do, and yet so little time. I doubt if I can succeed before the morning comes. Stay focused, and you can achieve anything. The Christmas spirit made the right choice. I believe in you, Cisco. Right. Let's see. So we have a filled mojo bag with elf tears and that weird root, a mandrake root, a new variety of black thorn fruit, a red thread, and Santa's personal ornament. Fantastic! Not at all stressful. Before I forget, most of them cannot be found in the common sphere. You'll have to pass through to the spirit world. Oh boy, how am I supposed to do that? Deep in the woods lives the old man. Go and visit him. He will be expecting you. He will give you passage to the other side. Sounds a bit macabre. That's enough for now. Every minute counts. Hurry up, Cisco. Don't worry, I'll do my best. Until we meet again.
Hey, Cosmos! I finally managed to speak with La Bifana! I know, I heard it all. Isn't she fascinating? Yes, y yes, sure. I know she seems a bit obnoxious, at least at first. But after getting to know her, she's like the super grandma you wish you had. Cisco, we are in big trouble. Why is that? Didn't you hear what La Bifana just said? Krampus is the one who kidnapped Santa! Krampus! Not a friend of yours, right? It's not the time for jokes, Cisco. My worst fears have just been confirmed. Oh, sorry. Who is this Krampus? La Bifana said something about being Santa's oldest enemy. Precisely. Since the beginning of time, Santa and Krampus have always been rivals. Imagine them as the two sides of the same coin. Every year, at exactly this season, Krampus tries to imprison Santa to take control of Christmas. He has never succeeded before. Until now, Krampus isn't exactly the stuff that dreams are made of. He is an evil spirit, the embodiment of darkness. He bears horns with dark hair and fangs. Some refer to him as half goat or half demon. This anti-Santa type bears a bundle of birch sticks meant to swat naughty children. He desires to make humans get in touch with their animalistic side, pushing them towards selfishness and stinginess, making people move away from each other. Exactly the opposite of what Santa stands for. Santa is the true meaning of Christmas the reason for the season. He represents the best that there is in mankind, shaping feelings like love, generosity, and family bonding. Now, Cisco, do you understand the importance of saving Santa? Wow, jaw-dropping. I think I just broke out in a cold sweat. In any case, if we fail, it will be the end of anything noble. Not on my watch. You're right, Cosmos. It's not the time for jokes. I must save my favorite time of the year. It's time to watch over Christmas. It seems that your allies are plotting your rescue. <coughs> my new informers are proving to be effective. How did you think I managed to get you this year? It wasn't luck, I'll tell you that. Guess what their plan is? They're sending a child to save you. Really? A child? A child against an ancient evil spirit? Against me? I'm looking forward to it. It looks like the night will be much easier than I thought. I'd better go and prepare for the new era to come. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome, young man. Hello. I was informed of your presence. <laughs> that was fast. La Bifana said that you would be expecting me. Indeed. Please, have a seat. What is your name, young one? I'm Cisco. What a beautiful name. It has a little hint of dare and a free-spirited tone. <laughs> really? I always thought my parents named me after the first word that popped into their mind. Franco told me that you are assisting him in completing his tasks. Thank you for the fish oil, Cisco. You're welcome. How may I return the favor? I need your permission to pass across. You see, Santa has been kidnapped by Krampus, and he's being held somewhere on the other side. La Bifana will prepare a spell to imprison him, but first she needs some ingredients, some of which are located in the spirit world. Oh my! Krampus finally managed to abduct Santa? That would explain why I lost track of his activity in either world. Will you please help me out? Now, isn't that a dream coming true? A kid setting out on a quest to save Santa. Cisco, 
Hold on tight to that armchair, as you are about to enter a world only few people have been given the opportunity to visit. You altered the fire's color! Nice trick! Lou looks way cooler! It's not a trick, young man. When the fire burns with an orange flame, that indicates that the cabin exists in the common sphere, while when it burns in blue color, it exists in the spirit world. Wait, you mean that we are already on the other side? Exactly, my boy. Welcome to the spirit world. <laughs> That's it? I was expecting something more spectacular. Simplicity is the real magic, the final achievement. Great, now you speak in riddles. <sighs> Behind the door awaits the next chapter of your quest. I wish you all the luck, Cisco. The label reads, 100% pure castor oil. I wonder why it is in a crate of planks. Hey, that's my vial. Sorry, I thought you didn't need it. Oh, but I do. What is it for? Can you keep a secret? Certainly. The fact that I sit all day makes me constipated. So, this castor oil helps me with this condition. <sighs> Your secret is safe with me. You know what? You can take it. I'll have Franco prepare me another one. Thanks! A small vial containing castor oil. I remember Grandma making a home remedy out of it. She used to mix it with something else in order to increase Grandpa's bowel movements. It's a flannel bag that Labafana gave me to fill with some magical items. It's empty. The captive spell that Labafana gave me to track my progress for all the ingredients. Made of pure steel. That's weird. I can't imagine any reason to keep empty bird cages as decoration. There is a book written in an incomprehensible language. It's probably a made-up language, as I've never seen these letter symbols before. It seems to be ancient, like a codex. It burns with a blue color. Looks cozy enough, but yet so ancient. Judging by its size, it can't belong to the old man. It must be Franco's. A remarkable boy. He keeps a code in every cabin. Looks like he is a hundred years old. A mysterious aura surrounds him. What is this spirit world? Well, it's a realm inhabited by spirits, both good or evil. Also, it's the birthplace of elves, fairies, and imps. It's the dwelling of every mythical, whimsical, and imaginary being. Oh my! Will I get the chance to meet all these creatures? I'm really looking forward to it! Do not rush, Cisco. You are not here for sightseeing. As you told me, you have an urgent quest to fulfill. So I granted you access only to a specific part of the world. The mirroring village of Santa and Krampus. Bummer! That would have been great, though. Who knows? Maybe in a sequel. Aren't you tired sitting all day in that armchair? As a matter of fact, I am. So what do you do? When no one is watching, I stand up and stretch my muscles. Can't you do that right now? No, I have to be alone. I don't get it. When someone enters, I'm always seated in the armchair. That way, I look more mysterious. Okay.
I've been told that you constantly watch and protect the crossing between the two worlds. Of course. That's my duty. I never leave my spot. So, when do you sleep? I don't. My level of spirituality allows me to always keep my spirit awake, while I let my body rest. Intriguing! Is Franco really your apprentice? He is more than that. He is more like a son now. I am trying to tutor him through errands and tasks. He must build a strong spirit and an iron will, because soon enough, he will take my place, which will grant him access to all my secrets and abilities. It's not an easy task to maintain the balance. Evil lurks in silence. You should never let your guard down. Sounds like a huge responsibility. Indeed, but on the other hand, the bright side is that I'll be able to rest at last. I have a weird question. Sure. It looks like you have all the time in the world. Right. Franco said that you found him somewhere near the lake when he was still a baby. Indeed. How is that even possible if you never leave the cabin? Hmm. I have to admit, that's quite an observation. You have correctly assumed that my post is the cabin. But you didn't think about how time actually works. You see, time isn't linear for me. So, the cabin can be in many places at once, allowing me to interact with the world without giving up my post. I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Cisco, I almost forgot. I have something for you. Here, take this orb with you. What is this? It's a travel orb. It will allow you to traverse between worlds much faster. It might come in handy and save you some time. If you feel like you need it, just use it. Thank you so much! Godspeed, Cisco.